um, Spanish court has officially confirmed um, that the cause of death for cryptocurrency entrepreneur John McAfee uh, was suicide. Uh, this announcement comes after the body of the 75-year-old businessman was discovered in his prison cell in June 2021, uh, just hours after uh, the approval of his extradition to the United States uh, following his sudden death. Spanish authorities uh, emphasized that there was no evidence to suggest third-party involvement in the incident. Uh, McAfee's wife pursuit of answers and these findings were consistent with the initial police conclusion following the first autopsy in 2021. However, John McAfee's widow, Janice McAfee, harbored dot regarding the suicide explanation and embarked on a mission to gather signatures urging the government to release her husband's remains for an independent autopsy. She was convinced that John was fully prepared to face the legal battle uh, that elated him. Um, the circumstances surrounding John McAfee's death have given rise to numerous conspiracy theories, some of which were propagated by McAfee himself through his online posts. He notably expressed his contentment in prison shortly before his passing, saying, I'm happy here. I have friends. The food is good. Everything is fine. Know that if I hang myself like Epstein, it won't be my fault. Legal troubles and political allegations. McAfee's legal troubles began in October 2020 when he was arrested in Spain at the request of U.S. authorities. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission accused him of deceiving investors and promoting ICL projects, while the Ministry of Justice filed charges for alleged tax evasion. In 2021, McAfee faced additional charges of fraud and money laundering. Um, however, John McAfee uh, staunchly maintained uh, that the accusations leveled against him were politically driven um, and portrayed the case as a targeted assault on the entire cryptocurrency industry. Uh, it's worth noting that in August 2022, McAfee's ex-girlfriend Samantha Herrera denied his death, claiming in a Netflix documentary that he was still alive and in hiding in Texas. That said the Spanish court's ruling officially confirming McAfee's suicide brings it close to the legal investigation into the software mogul's death. Despite previous appeals by his family for further inquiry, the court's decision cannot be appealed further through ordinary legal channels.